This is the Harbor Freight Drillmaster brand 12 volt rotary tool. You can see it really includes a whole bunch of different uh, goodies here. They give you sanding discs and polishing wheels and all kinds of great stuff in here. There's some diamond encoded, uh, diamond encoded, diamond coated uh, bits in here. You can see there, there's a whole bunch, they give you a whole bunch of those. Two little wire wheels here. And a whole bunch of uh, stones, all different sizes and that, and a bunch of little cutoff wheels. But like I said, this is a 12 volt unit and it really doesn't have a lot of power. This is great for hobbyists that you just need to knock off some little edges of stuff. Uh, very, very, very light work. It's severely underpowered for any kind of rotary tool. This will certainly not replace your Dremel or other rotary tool. It will simply augment it for much, much finer uh, detail stuff. Like I said, it's a little 12 volt motor and that's really all you get. You can put whatever bit you want in there. It comes with an AC adapter here. You'll see this is 12 volts DC, 500 milliamps, but the problem is this is not really that powerful in the an adapter, so you can really bog this thing down fairly easily if you tried. Like, you can see, I can just grab the shaft and stop it. So you can tell it's not really that high powered, but sometimes some people have found it's actually a little too powerful. Now, if you also happen to be so lucky as to purchase the Harbor Freight 4.8 volt cordless screwdriver, it also comes with an AC adapter. And you'll notice here, this one is 6 volts DC, 300 milliamps. And the plug here separates. You'll notice here that I have both the adapters side by side. Uh, the plugs, as you can tell, look a bit different. What you can do is plug the 6 volt one in uh, into the uh, plug right here, which is a little hard to do with one hand, but it will go right in like that. Now you'll see this one will stick out a bit, but that's okay, you can touch it because you're only touching one side of the circuit. And it's only 6 volts, 300 milliamps, so it probably isn't going to hurt you. Although under the right conditions it can take less than an amp to kill you. But now, you can see it runs at a much reduced speed. And I can stop it with just one finger. So, for just a little bit of real light stuff, you can definitely use the 6 volt adapter. Or if you were lucky enough to also buy the uh, portable power pack, jump box type thing, this thing includes, as I showed you in the other video, a cigarette lighter plug to barrel connector for charging from a uh, vehicle. But you can use this the other way around, as I believe I mentioned, by simply plugging this into the port on the side of it. Then that plugs in from here right into the tool. It's the same 12 volts which it'll eventually get to, or even a little bit higher than that. And now that you have more than 500 milliamps on a little wimpy adapter like that, this is your 12 volt speed, but... You can tell it's got a lot more power doing it that way. Which is also kind of nice if you're in the middle of a power outage. Um, you can still do your little fine detail work and it even has a built-in light for what it's worth. So if you need a bit more power you can find yourself another AC adapter that'll put out more current but don't exceed the voltage of 12 volts. You can go a little bit higher, 13 or 14, but I really wouldn't push it too uh, too long at that uh, that kind of voltage because you can most certainly damage it pretty easily. And the other one little last bonus if you bought the uh, jump box here is the charger for it has a plug. Now it looks like it's a standard plug. It's actually not because the prongs in the little charger there are wider. So it's not gonna be the greatest fit in the world. In fact, you see it fits kind of loose, but for a very light duty, short cord that you need for very low power applications on a very temporary basis, something like this would be fine you can have it double as an extension cord. So anyway, that was the Harbor Freight Drill Master 
a rotary tool that runs on 12 volts.